guys, it's Doc Chris. Our subject for today will be immunology. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Facebook for more videos. Alright, number one, immunoglobulin at its highest level in a normal one-day-old baby. 1. IgM, 2. IgE, 3. IgA, 4. IgG. Letter A, 1, 2, 3, B, 2, 4, C, 1, 3, or D, 4 only. The answer here is D for only, IgG. Our babies do not usually produce their own antibodies, but upon birth, they will have maternally derived IgG and thus they will have IgG at its highest level even in their first day of life. The maternal IgG is transplacentally transferred in utero and so it will be increased in our newborns all right number one is letter d number two immunoglobulin at its highest level in a normal adult you have the same choices and so answer here is still letter d igg you remember the, the mnemonic that we can use here is IgG, IgA, IgM, IgD, IgE, or GAMDE, which means IgG has the highest concentration in our blood, followed by A, M, D, and the least concentrated immunoglobulin in our blood will be IgT. Okay? Number two is letter D. Number three immunoglobulin with the longest half-life letter a iga letter b igg letter c igm or letter d igd answer here is letter b igg did you notice that we just answered igg consecutively three in a row <laughs> oh well let's explain this part all right we remember the concentration of our antibodies by using the mnemonic gum there right and so in this order also let us enumerate the half lives of each of these antibodies as we said igg has the longest half life and that will um equal to 23 days we have um iga with five days we have IgM 6 days, IgD 1 to 3 days, and IgE 2 to 3 days. Okay, so answer here will be letter B, IgG. Number 4. Formerly known as the reagenic antibody, letter A, IgG, letter B, IgA, letter C, IgM, or letter D, IgE. Answer here is letter D, IgE. IgE is formerly known as the reagenin or the reagenic antibody. But please remember that this is not the same antibody that we see in syphilis. Alright, conversely, the reagen in syphilis does not mean that, it's made, that it is made up of IgE molecules. They are two separate antibodies. It's just so happened that the former name of IgE is reagenic antibody. Reagenic antibody IgE, by the way, plays a role in mediating the hypersensitivity reaction. Hypersensitivity reaction. When it reacts with the effector cells, basophils, and mast cells, they will um, mediate the hypersensitivity reactions. And since we're talking about the functions of our antibodies, let's just have a quick look on our um, antibodies. Alright, so we have IgG, IgA, IgM, IgD, and IgE. Alright, um, all of these are immunoglobulins and we want to know if they are monomeric in structure or not. So let's put here if they are monomers or not. Alright, IgG is a monomer, IgA is a monomer in blood while it is a dimer in secretions. IgM is a pentamer. IgD is a monomer, while IgE is a monomer. Aside from that, we want to remember the coefficient of sedimentation for each antibody molecules. That is easy to remember. 
So the way I remember it is, I just remember 7S is the most common coefficient sedimentation for all. All right, except for two. Okay, those exemption would be our IgM and IgE. IgM is the largest among all the antibodies that we have, so it will have a larger number for its coefficient of sedimentation, 19S, while IgE will have 8S as its coefficient of sedimentation. The way I remember that is I just remembered that letter E is the start of the word 8. And so I can easily remember that is 8S. Okay? What else do we need to know? We want to know their um, function, their significance. IgG is the most predominant antibody in secondary immune response. Their presence usually denote a past infection. We have IgA found in the secretions. All right, they are found in the secretions. Their role is in the secretions. And of course, if they are in the secretions, they will have the SC, the secretory component. IgM is the most predominant antibody in primary immune response. And as we have already mentioned, it is the largest antibody molecule. IgD, is, as we know right now, is one of the surface immunoglobulins found on a mature B cell. All right, for your B cell to become a mature B cell, it has to have both of these um, antibodies on its surface. Okay, IgM and IgD will mean that your B cell is a mature B cell. Okay, so IgD is found on the surface of mature B cells. IgE, as we have already mentioned again, this will be responsible for hypersensitivity reactions. All right. So just a quick recap of our antibodies. We have IgG, A, M, D, and E in this order so that we'll remember that the most concentrated in the blood is IgG and the least one is IgE. All right. All are monomeric except for IgA in secretions. It's a dimer and IgM in IgM is a pentamer. By the way, since both of them will have more than one immunoglobulin structure, they will have the J chain. The J chain is present in both of these types of antibodies, IgA and IgM. Okay? Um, what else? So, we mentioned also the coefficient of sedimentation for um, almost all is 7S, except for IgM, which is 19S, and IgE, which is 8S. For their um, function, we have IgG predominant in secondary immune response, IgA found in secretions, IgM predominant in primary immune response, IgD is found on the surface of a mature B cell along with IgM, and IgE will be mediating the hypersensitivity reactions. Okay? Alright, so we've, let's move on to the next question. By the way, one more time, number for answer is letter D, IgE, uh, reagenic antibody. The final number for this video is number 5, and it asks us about the predominant antibody in primary immune response. Letter A, IgG, letter B, IgA, letter C, IgM, or letter D, IgE. Now, we have already um, explain that so I guess we all know the answer is IgM, letter C, IgM. Okay, so let me just again uh, emphasize that one. If the question is about the primary immune response, then we will answer IgM. And if ever your patient is positive with this antibody type, that means your patient is having an acute infection, okay, a recent infection or a current infection. Okay, so these are the possible interpretation of the presence of this antibody in our blood or in our specimen. All right. Well, IgG, we previously mentioned this that this will be in um, predominant in secondary immune response and the interpretation, usual interpretation of the presence of IgG in our specimen is a past infection. Okay, so that's the significance of these antibodies, IgM for acute, recent, or current, and IgG for the past infections.
Alright, that's it for this video. I hope everything is well understood and I still pray that you will do good in your future exams. Please do remember that God loves you so much so always stay happy and healthy. Alright, see you on our next lecture. Bye! Bye-bye!